stylers, welcome back to my channel. A lovely styler requested that I show you guys how to make a spider web out of yarn. In case you're still decorating for a Halloween party, this is the perfect thing to cover up any bare walls. Halloween is just around the corner. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so excited. In case you're still trying to figure out what you want to be, be sure to check out my previous videos where I'll show you how to make wings out of paper plates and a tutu out of luca balls. All right, let's get started. Start off by determining the diameter of your spider web. Cut off a piece of yarn, then go ahead and fold it so it's doubled up. This will help to make it more visible from a distance. Tape down both of the sides across like this. Go ahead and add on more pieces. You can make this as complex as you wish. I would recommend that if you decide to cover a large area that you make it more complex with more rays. Next, cut off another piece of yarn and then go ahead and double it over once again. We're going to use this to weave through the rays. Take the loopy end and then make a simple knot around one of the rays. After this point, go ahead and pull this underneath one of the consecutive rays. Then just pull it around and that's pretty much it. Very simple. You can make knots every time if you want it to be more secure, but this way works too. Just repeat the same thing over and over again. I'd recommend that you occasionally skip a ray so that your spider web isn't uh, completely circular. You want it to be a little imperfect. That's what's really going to give a character. Once you reach back to that point, go ahead and make a knot or tie it up, whatever you wish. And cut off the excess. I'm going to take a glue gun and glue together the center here so that it's a little bit more stable. You don't have to do this, but I just thought it would be helpful in making this look more neat. Then once you're done with that, go ahead and cut off more yarn and weave, weave, weave. This is what it should look like. You can hang this on a wall or you could even decorate your pumpkins with it. Something else you can do is decorate mirrors, wall art, or photographs. Here I'm making a quarter of a spider web. I'm using the same weaving technique as the first spider web. And that's the final product. I hope you guys enjoy these spider webs. Did you know that not all spiders spin webs? Some spiders are able to jump, like they jump like rabbits. That is just terrifying. And that's the way that they're able to capture their prey. They just jump on them. All right guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you try out these spider webs, please go ahead and show me your photos using the hashtag Sophie Spider Webs so I can find them and like them. Also, please take a moment to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook so you can stay up to date with all of my videos. Don't forget to stop by tomorrow for a new video on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Be well and sweet styling.